All right, everyone, today we got a big Intel drop from Black Ops 6, and this is the first of five Intel drops to come. So this one is on the essential Intel on the multiplayer modes, maps, factions, and operators coming to Black Ops 6. There is so much more in this blog than what the title actually tells you. So I'm going to try to summarize some of these things. I'm going to jump to what's more important and go into more detail on those things and kind of skip over the least important things. But if you're anything like me, you may have opened up this blog post and thought that's a lot to read. I'm not going to read all that. So let me do that for you. But jumping into this real quick, we have four more other blogs that are coming. The next one will be Zombies Mode Prep. This will give us a full list of augments, gobble gums, and equipment, as well as a tour of Terminus and Liberty Falls and some additional updates for launch. The third one will be Weapons Hot. This is your primary, secondary, and melee weapon detail for Black Ops 6. Includes new details on the latest innovations across gunsmith and attachments. The fourth one is Gear Up. Ensure you are fully equipped for Black Ops 6 launch as we confirm all the launch equipment, tacticals, lethal, field upgrades, perks, combat specialties, wild cards, and score streaks available. And then the last but not least, this one is probably I'm the most excited about is progression. Unlock your true potential as we detail the critical player level intel you'll need on day one, detail info on classic prestige and the available rewards, full info on calling cards, reticles, and mastery badges challenges. Plus, are you ready for a deep dive into the weapon camo system? Absolutely I am. I can't wait for that one. I'm a huge camo grind person. Although I'm excited about the weapons hot one, the zombies one, I'm most excited about the progression. I love grinding out the camos. I love leveling up. So that one's got me the most pumped. Which one are you the most excited for? I would love to hear in the comments down below, but let's jump into this. So they break down more than just like multiplayer modes and stuff like that. There's some additional little hidden things in here that they should have thrown at the top because these are actually really, really cool features that are coming at launch. So these are the standard modes that you can expect at launch. We have team deathmatch, we have domination, search and destroy, kill confirmed, free for all, hard point, gunfight, headquarters, kill order, and control. And an additional alternative mode, which I'll go into here in a second. But there's some little details hidden in these mode descriptions that maybe some people have missed, like Domination talks about how now the Domination flags will include a small zone around the flag itself where the scoring actually occurs so you no longer have to lay down behind cover and try to wiggle your way into the zone trying to figure out where it is that you're capturing or not capturing. You'll actually be able to see that on the ground with these like arrows. Hardpoint now has their hardpoints numbered, allowing you to more easily keep track of how many hardpoints each map contains where they are so this would be good for like figuring out the rotation of the hard points and things like that so i thought that was a pretty cool feature we have gunfight which is 2v2 and then the alternate modes which honestly they should just call face off so face off was actually in the beta if you didn't know that it's smaller maps it's still 6v6 it's also used for the gunfight maps your alternate modes are going to be on your strike maps which are the tiny maps which we got to play in the beta these are still 6v6 but there's no score streaks and at launch you can expect to have dominant team deathmatch kill order and kill confirmed this would probably be a great place to grind out camos go for a high kill gameplay etc if you're a 24 7 shipment person this is probably for you and of course we have the hardcore variant as well which will have team deathmatch kill order domination hard point search and destroy kill confirm free for all face off mosh pit note the face off mosh pit these are going to be your small maps on hardcore with no kill streaks and if the rumors are true and the camo grind is actually headshot this will probably be the fastest way to complete that for 90% of the guns in this game. Probably not your sniper rifles, but everything else. If you've never done a headshot camo grind in the past from older Call of Duties, hardcore modes are the way to go, especially if you can jump into these smaller maps. You can get so many headshots knocked out in such a short amount of time. So face off mosh pit hardcore variant is probably the way to go for headshots. And this was kind of the hidden gem in this thing was the additional mode intel, not the training course part. There's a a training course in this so if you're brand new to call of duty or you just need a little help with movement and stuff like that this is going to teach you how to do all omni movement and stuff like that but the most exciting part for this was firing range and you're like firing range who cares right well well they brought some additional things into this that are actually really really cool and will elevate your gameplay more than you can ever even imagine so it says a familiar location to test your equipment loadout is available and comes with a few additions to help you continue 
continuously adjust weapon build until you're happy with it. So this is what you can kind of expect from the firing range. Practice dummies to shoot at 10, 25, and 50 meter intervals. Dummies can now have zero, one, two, or three armor plates added to them. So kind of war zone prep there. Obviously you'll have unlimited ammo. On the upper left-hand corner of the screen will feature your accuracy tracker and your damage tracker, but a new addition is your target elimination tracker. So if for whatever reason, if you want to hold the Guinness World Record for dummies killed in firing range, go for it. There you go. You will have a tracker in the left hand corner. But now we're going to have some additional features that will allow you to activate a moving target or a recoil metal plate. And I'll explain why this is a big deal. So the moving target is a dummy that drops down from the ceiling on a conveyor belt, automatically moves back through the range as you connect with it. Once you hit it at maximum range, it moves all the way back to its initial position. Then the process can be repeated, which is kind of cool for tracking and stuff like that right but this is this is the big one here so for modern warfare 3 i used to just turn and shoot at the wall to figure out a recoil pattern from a gun so i knew how i needed to move my joystick to adjust for recoil but now we're going to have a feature that's going to drop down a metal plate that's about seven meters from the booth that you're in that allows you to see the bullet spread of the gun which is a really cool feature now this is just kind of a pro tip here you should always jump into the firing range first thing when firing up the game because this is what will help you develop that muscle memory so you can be super accurate and snappy but then also you have these additional things which can help you track enemies as they're moving and help you figure out the recoil pattern of whatever gun it is that you're using as well as what you can kind of expect on how quickly the gun will kill whether the people have armor plates or not so really excited about the firing range there and it looks like it's brighter as well which i think is pretty cool and then all you content creators you're gonna love this theater mode we knew this was coming back right there i heard a rumor going around that this wasn't coming to everybody but the only people that aren't going to get theater mode are those that are on playstation 4 and xbox one this is just going to give you kind of a cool action replay kind of thing that you can do so you'll be able to switch between like first person third person or fly cam kind of thing so again the only people that aren't going to get this are people on xbox one and playstation 4 so this again is a really cool way to capture some cool stuff for content you know that you can use in montages or whatever but this is this is a huge thing here that I think a lot of people will miss. All theater files expire after seven days or when the game update is released. So that means you do not have a lot of time to get in there and get whatever content it is that you wanted from a gameplay that you had, especially if a update is like the next day, then you're going to lose that theater mode content the next day. So make sure if you're utilizing the theater mode that you're doing so within seven days of when you you captured that gameplay. And then we'll quickly kind of go through the maps. I think what kind of surprised me as I was going through these and looking at the tack maps and stuff like that was some of these actually looked a lot bigger than what I expected, especially based off of what they say in the information in which we've heard in the past. And I've talked about in a previous video that all maps are small to medium size with traditional three lane routes, which I love and have been meticulously designed to fully realize the signature Call of Duty Black Ops experience. This means offering rapid energetic combat along with a variety of scenic set pieces, cover opportunities, and ranged thoroughfares to ensure your favorite style of play is catered to. From close quarter strikes to long range sniping with emphasis always on the action, this culminates into tighter gameplay that's perfectly suited to Omni movement. So the maps are split into two main categories. There are 12 brand new core maps. In addition, there are four brand new compact size strike maps, which is what you will use on those additional modes like face off or the 2v2. So we have Babylon, which we've seen. We have Derelict, which we've seen. We have Low Town, which looks really cool. Looks like a nice mixture of stuff you can get in the water and things like that. Really like the look of the design of this map. And it looks like it's a fairly decent size. And if you look at the tack map, there's quite a bit of water play here. Then we have payback which kind of gives me standoff vibes we have protocol which you could actually play in the beta if you went into the training course we have red card we have rewind scud skyline subsonic vault or kuta or however you say that then we have our strike maps we have gala pit stakeout and warhead which they changed the name from like sand something or something i don't remember but it's basically a destroyed version of nuketown which i'm excited about also nuketown is coming back november 1st that is confirmed and if you're someone that wants to nerd out and go into more details about these, if you go to the blog on Call of Duty's website, you'll actually find at the bottom there's a free official guide that's going to break down every map starting October 23rd. So two days before the game launch.
launches, you can jump in there, nerd out on all the map intel you want. Then we have operators, which I'm not going to spend a ton of time on. I think it's cool they integrated the zombie characters into the multiplayer operators. So you're going to have rogue black ops operators. You're going to have Adler Park, Woods, Nazir, West Point, Bayon, Alvarez, Payne, Marshall, and then your two zombies characters, Weaver and Maya. Then we have Crimson One. You're going to have Brutus, Claws, Rosie, Rosie, I don't know, Kane, Niran, Toro, Bailey, Stone, and then your two zombies characters, Carver and Gray. And if you go to the blog again, this will actually show you how to unlock these characters or who's available immediately. And then also there's a cool breakdown with pictures of each character, kind of talks about their background, their citizenship and stuff like that, which is pretty neat. But I was excited. We got a nice little Intel drop today with some cool little stuff in there. Really excited about the firing range and the additional little features coming there. I like the adjustments that they've made to some of the modes, including like domination, where you can see the zones and stuff like that. But as you hear me reading all this, do you feel like there's something missing? If so, let me know in the comments below. Are you excited about Black Ops 6? Are you not excited? I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments down below. I love chatting with you guys and always love hearing your opinions. But anyways, there's much, much more to come. I will do my best to try to cover all this stuff. Let me know if next time you want me to cover in more detail or if you want me to summarize it a little more. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Helps me out a ton. Regardless, love you all. Again, hope you enjoyed the video. We will see you next time. God bless.